Art is a criminal who's going to be interrogated by two cops. One's a good cop, one's a bad cop. We'll find out who is who when the scene starts. They have to make him confess to where he was, what he did, and why he did it. So I need a location first. Um, pretty much anywhere, but like a non-geographical location, like a kitchen or a dressing, room. a dressing room where? The library. A dressing room at the library, which is very specific. <laughs> dressing room at the library. Good luck with that. <laughs> now, while he was in the dressing room at the library, he did a crime. Not, it's not really a crime. Maybe something you wish were a crime. His Christmas lights are still up. Oh. <laughs> Christmas lights were still up. Were still up. Now, why did he leave? What was the motive for leaving his Christmas lights up for so long? Help me remember the Dewey Desk for Christmas. What's that back there? Cook breakfast. Annoying and neighbor. Because he's a Libra. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Uh, Libra. Okay. So, uh, where, what is the what is the location? A dressing room in a library. A dressing room in a library. We don't know why there's one there. Uh, what was the crime? Christmas lights. Christmas lights still. Up. Oh, all right. And why? He's a Libra. He's a Libra, which explains everything, right? Okay. So what's going to happen is Art's going to come in. They're going to start interrogating him until he confesses those three things. And when he gets close, we'll let him know. Ooh, give him a little awe. When he, if he's missing it, go. <coughs> and uh, when he gets it on the nose. Clap and laugh, let him know he's got it, and we'll be done in like an hour, an hour and a half, okay? <laughs> Let's get this criminal in. Give him a hand. <laughs> All right. All right, put him down on the stool right there. You know what you did, don't you know? <laughs> I've got a parking ticket, you know. I don't think so. Not today, Jonesy. Yes. I say rather, you know. He's polite, you know. <laughs> now, uh, I was at the ice cream parlor. We know where you were, sir. Well, I'm trying to tell you where I was. I was at the ice cream parlor. I was at the beauty salon. <laughs> we checked you out this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the uh, auto dealer. Uh, getting, uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Here's, here's your tea. Oh, thank you. You, you seem like a very nice kind of indoorsy kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, when I see my doctor. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe other things, too. I mean, you certainly turned out in a very snappy outfit. <laughs> well, I was uh, getting measured for my suit. <laughs> All right, sir. How's your spine doing? <laughs> oh. The chiropractor. <laughs> I'll take a leaf out of that, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you, are, are you a, a literate kind of guy? In the library. <laughs> Checking out the stacks, are we now? Oh, of all the books in the bookstore? <laughs> no, we know you were at the library. <laughs> but let me, let me ask you this. I mean, how did you get that lovely outfit on at the library? <laughs> We're looking for some spare change. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <clears throat> Different kind of change. Let me, let me ask you this. I mean, when you put on your clothes, do you tend to do it publicly or privately? <laughs> it depends on where I'm at in the bathroom. Well, let's say you're at the library, and, and, and the bathroom is certainly crowded at the library. Uh. A <laughs> 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 specific place in the library that is certainly not the bathroom where you might find some change for yourself at the library. <laughs> Behind the desk? <laughs> <laughs> Something a bit more private. <laughs> what if you were at the library and you wanted to put on a performance for the library patrons? But you needed to, to get into costume. <laughs> Why would you do that? In a dressing room. <laughs> I'm 
in charge of how I should be feeling, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Stop putting little marshmallows on the thing. It's too festive. You will catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. <laughs> Put I'm going to talk with him right now. Uh. <laughs> now. I know. I know that it's, it's the middle of March right now. And you probably didn't mean to do what you did. <laughs> well, they didn't drink their green beer. <laughs> you put in a peppermint stick, too. <laughs> you know, sometimes the spirit is with us all year long. <laughs> I think we should draw a line somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> or you may be worried about your, your saguaros freezing. <laughs> Was it too dark at night, sir? <laughs> My flashlight was broken. <laughs> My solar light didn't have enough sun today. <laughs> well, that can be a problem around, around this time of year. You know, some people are kind of grinchy about the way that they behave. <laughs> some people are a little more generous and loving, perhaps more open-hearted. <laughs> I'm a little too generous, that's what it is. <laughs> and maybe forgetful, too. <laughs> a little absent-minded, uh, you know. No, we certainly get that. Absent-minded, forgetting something. I mean, you seem like a person who probably likes to, to go all out on things like the holidays, and decorations, and, you know, festivities, and maybe... Office parties? <laughs> even, at home, even at home, you seem like the type of person who might just be just a really festive kind of guy who just likes to brighten the neighborhood outside. <laughs> Can you decorate in the house for St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> well, for St. Patrick's Day, you probably wouldn't be in trouble. <laughs> But there are some holiday overlaps. Let's admit that. At least right to will. Like Thanksgiving and a turkey and uh, Christmas? Oh. Oh. Tell us more about it. <laughs> well, we had some leftover turkey and we had a <laughs> leftover Christmas and then we had it for New Year's. Oh. 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 The biggest thing you might have leftover for Christmas. We're not as worried about the turkey. <laughs> We've had complaints from the neighbors. The flashing that you do outside. <laughs> I, I can explain. Who <laughs> can explain it now, sir? Get it down this instant. Was it a shade? <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. <clears throat> you know, let me ask you this. Are you like? A newfangled kind of LED kind of man, or are you more of like an old school senior? <laughs> Go in between. You, are, you, are you flashy twinkly or more warm soft? <laughs> <laughs> Having it coordinated to music is just going too far, especially this far into the year, sir. Choreographer? <laughs> it, it's something that really, I mean, most people don't have an issue with it during the day. It's just at, at the night time when it becomes more noticeable. When you have an idea and a bulb pops up into your head, what is that? I know it's an idea, but what else do bulbs do? <laughs> Light up the neighborhood. Oh. Oh. Just take it down! That's all we're asking for. <laughs> Let me ask you this. When you're on Broadway, what do you see your name up here? Lights. Yeah. And are lights okay for St. Patrick's Day? Can people put them up on their houses for St. Patrick's Day? The green? <laughs> But what if they're, I don't know, red? Woo! 
yes. <laughs> green. That would only be appropriate one time of the year. so displeased your neighbors and the general public. It's not Christmas, and yet you have something. They're candy canes. <laughs> you don't have to plug candy canes in. <clears throat> the Christmas lights I do. <laughs> so what have you been doing with those Christmas lights? I've been stringing them around the neighborhood. <laughs> Not been doing with the Christmas lights, sir. Haven't been picking up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what else goes a long way. All right, sir. We know where. We know what you did. I think you know why. Wait, to celebrate the spirit. Pretty <laughs> close. It's more kind of the cheer a person who likes to be a little more balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging around your Chinese friend, are you, sir? <laughs> I get German friends, too. <laughs> oh, I hear all about your friends, sir. Can I, can I ask you a question? Back in the, in the 70s, you were at the disco, picking <laughs> up the ladies. Did you ever like, come up to one of the ladies and use a pickup line? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe go, hey baby, what's your style? Oh. It's not sign. <laughs>
Why did you leave your Christmas lights up until March? I wanted to see my horoscope and lights. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Leave her. We're gonna say it." <laughs>